before we begin this video, I just want to say college is great if you're looking for structure, but it's not needed. Abraham Lincoln was self-taught at a time where resources and knowledge were very limited, and he became president. We now live in an era where all knowledge is free and easily accessible. It begs the question why? Why is college so expensive and limited, especially to areas in computer science? If you're watching this video, you're on a device that allows you to study and understand that field. There are very few colleges that offer up game development programs. I live in Oregon, I'm married, work full time, and am very limited to my server. Talking about my bedroom. The nearest college for me in game development is DigiPen, located in Washington State. If I did go to college, DigiPen would be my hands down number one choice. And if you're in college and you're watching this video, you're most likely in some computer science program, not anything specific to game development. As well, most likely teaching yourself on the side how to use Unity or Unreal Engine, maybe even Game Maker Studio. Look, none of us here are gonna judge. It's okay. I like to get up at 4am for a couple of reasons. One, my mind is blank with no distractions of the previous day. Two, my wife is still asleep. That's her in the shadows. Ah, uh, so you know, headphones are a must. And then I begin to work full time till 7am. I used to write out a schedule for the day, but I stopped doing that once the work became habit. Udemy is the one place I use for online education. The courses there are always on sale and you can get them for a lifetime, so they never expire. Before we go any further, I'd like to say that I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Nobody is paying me to say anything. And of course, YouTube for Brackies and GTGD. That's a gamer to game developer. And always there to answer questions at any time, Google. I could make a video alone on just the resources that I like to use, and I probably will do an in-depth video on that in the future. I've been using the Unity game engine on and off since Unity 4, and I'm still terrible at it. But in my defense, there wasn't any good resources at that time. Now there are tons of resources, and tons of new features, like palette creation tool, where you can literally draw on the sprites. No more snapping the verts or messing with the transforms. So glad those days are gone. But between then and now, now, I made a ton of games and even sold one online. The first time I made a game was five years ago called Number Station, a survival horror using very limited Unity assets. I had no idea what I was doing, but I made 50 bucks. My first YouTube intro was made in Unity. For a time, Unity was my life, and all my wife saw was the back of my head. I kept going through the same thing, learning and relearning. Let me tell you, game development can be an endless journey, but that's why I love it. I exercise for two reasons. One, weak bones yeah. run in my family at older ages, yeah. and exercise can increase bone density. Two, the better shape you're in, the easier it is for your body to move oxygen to your brain. And that's a pretty useful thing in uh, game development. Well, Father, most of the time. I decided to make this game dev vlog because I love YouTube and I love game development. Both require an intense focus and discipline if you want to get any good at it. Well, it hit me like, well, it kind of hit me like a sack of coins. Why, well, I've always seemed to focus on one, but why don't I just do both? So this vlog is to keep me on track and to share everything I learned with you. And let me tell you, I made a lot of mistakes in the beginning, like trying to memorize code when I should have been putting focus on understanding it. Good devs know a lot of things off the top of their head, but great devs know how to find all the answers they're looking for. When I first began game development, I thought I should go for learning tutorial to learning tutorial. That's great and all but the information is endless, it's just a sea of knowledge. I found that once I understood how Unity works and how C-sharp works, it's best to make a GDD, a game design document, and know what kind of game you want to make. And then look at courses or tutorials on how to make those style of games. In each course or tutorial you'll watch, you'll probably be adding a new iteration or feature or concept to your game. Because it's most likely that um, one tutorial or course is not going to have all the concepts you want to add to your game or features. I only recommend this, of course, once you've built up a foundation and understanding of Unity and how Unity works. The Unity site has plenty to get anyone started. The game I'm working on now is an RPG Castlevania style game. I'm taking these three courses here to get those concepts down. I was also lucky enough to find a bunch of sprites dirt cheap off of Humble Bundle. And if you're wondering what a GED, uh, GDD looks like, uh, they come in many shapes and forms. Sometimes they're just drawings or um, just like word documents. This is one I made from Photoshop and this is a concept RPG where it was both turn-based and had live action fights. Um, at the time, that uh, sounded interesting to me. <laughs> well, that's it, you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to smack that like button for some bonus XP, and you can always join the guild by subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I uh, look forward to seeing you again on future game vlogs. Take it easy. Bye!